Continuing. Okay. Log four something log four were separated with addition. Okay. I'm gonna tie it back together. How so? Multiplying. If they split with add, it means they were connected with multiplying. Okay, brackets on this is highly important. Do you see why? Right, it's this times that unit, so brackets. The result. Yeah, those things are the results. The rules yesterday. When two logs were split apart with adding, it means they were tied together with their units getting multiplied. Remember that? Okay, so this was just me doing rules, and then I was just careful with my bracket stuff. Okay, this is a log equation. Do you know which component is the base? What's the exponent and what's the result? Can you rearrange it in exponential for me? What to the what equals what? What to the what? How, what's the base? Uh, okay. Four. Four to the squared, squared, squared equals the result oh, okay. base exponent equals result okay so I all I did was the form change I went from a log form to exponent form 4 squared I'm gonna do that okay how do we go about solving equations when we're into this? You subtract 16 on that side. Subtract 16 to zero it out. Okay. I'm going to take that idea and just do that the other way because I hate negative x squared. So I'm just going to, instead of taking the 16 that way, I'm going to just move those that way. Is that okay? It's the same math idea that you just had. So obviously just one side has to be zero, right? Trinomial, is it factorable? Anything multiplying to 16? Eight times two? Minus, minus. Can I just be done, or should there be something else I should do? I can never just be done, no. I'm going to have to go back, because what do I know about the result? There always has to be positive. So if this was 8, good. 10 subtract 8, good. They're both positive. That's good. So that's good. 2, if 2 was in this result, 2, 10 subtract 2, good, they both work. They're both positive, not positive answers, but positive results, okay? As in that, that has to be positive. Okay, next, we, cannot solve this using the same base. Does that make sense, right? I can't write a seven and a five using the same base. We've already done that method. So the only way to ever solve for a variable when it's in an exponent position is to log both sides. Okay, and we always do this in math, right? When we do something to one side, we do it to the other.
Okay, so all I've done is said, to solve this, I'm gonna log both sides. That's all I've done. Okay, ready? What's the rules? What can I do with an exponent using the rules we learned yesterday? We can make it to the exponents, move to the front. Okay, um, did you notice how I also put it in brackets? Very important. That whole exponent unit went to the front, okay? I keep saying this word unit, so that means brackets. Okay, what do you want to do with rules on the other side? The nine exponent could move to the front. Okay. Now, here's what I have to do next. The bracket has to get multiplied. Okay, so 3x log 7 plus log 7. Okay, so I distributed the bracket. Okay, now here's the next idea. My whole goal is to get x alone, so anything with an x I'm going to keep, anything without an x I'm going to move away. So 3x log 7 stays, 9 log 5 minus 1 log 7. Okay, now how do I get the x alone? Divide by a 3 log 7. We're just doing algebra. So x equals, and now here's where we get to find out if you like your calculator or not. Okay, this is my favorite log kind of calculator, so if you hate yours, you can probably borrow one of mine. Does anybody have a backwards calculator? When they push sine 30 or th the backwards is 30 sine, does anybody have a calculator like that? Because that's not good. Okay, so bracket 9 log 5 minus log 7 bracket. If you didn't put brackets, you better do the top equals and then divide. That's fine too. I did brackets. I did bracket 9 log 5 minus log 7 divided by 3 log 7. And do you remember our rounding in this course? Yeah. Three, no. three, three decimals. No, it looks scary at the start, and then I get almost everybody who says like they just like love this. It's. Okay, ready? Bracket nine log five. Do you have a calculator that has another bracket after your log? Yeah. Okay. So you would need to look like this. Yeah. That's good. Nine. Yeah. So bracket nine log. There was a bracket five bracket minus log, and yours does a bracket seven bracket bracket. Because you need to close the 7 bracket and then you need to close the numerator bracket. Okay, but mine is not all the time. Divided by oh, 3 log 7. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. So it's good. So yours is like the bracket bracket. 
Gavin. Did anybody else have that? Was it okay? Bracket bracket sometimes? Yeah, bracket bracket. Bracket bracket? Okay. We Ready? We're going to do the one below it. I am not going to solve this by doing anything with the same base. So I'm going to log. I'm going to log both sides. Okay? This whole idea is just saying the only way to solve variables in an exponent is to log. So we logged both sides. Because it was in, in, in exponential, so we're going to log. Right. So do you make everything in here into log? And you're solving? We're just logging both sides. What was the difference between solving yesterday and solving today? Yesterday we just worked on the practicing of the rules. How can you start everything yep. off like very simple and then it just goes to the... That's the way it always is. Okay, ready? We're going to do the rules. Here we go. The, these two th items are connected with multiplying. So I'm going to split them apart with add. So log 5 plus, hold on, I'm not going to write yet, plus, can I do two things at the same time? I can move the exponent into the front. The rules. So do you see the rules? I did. Hey, two things were connected with multiply, so I split them apart with add. Hey, I saw an exponent, so I moved it to the front. Then on this, what kind of rules do I see? I can put that to the front. 5x is good. You only need brackets if it's like something plus something, okay. right? Because um, this is just a monomial, one term. This is a binomial. Okay. Because this is a binomial. And then what's the binomial going to do there? That's going to be our next move. When you look at these, they look, from an outside person looking in, it will look really complicated, but it's just a matter of following your rules. Well, it, looks, it still looks very complicated. Okay, distribution, we're okay with that. All I did was just this through. Okay, now I'm going to work on moving items around. So when I work on my isolation, this is just like me, math, isolation stuff, I'm going to move everything with x's to one side of this equation and everything without x's to one side. So I think I'm going to move just that because it will leave me these without x's and then, does that make sense to you? I'm just moving non-x stuff and x stuff to opposite sides of this. I moved this to the other side, so then obviously it will have to subtract. Oh, you foiled it. What? I haven't they have different bases. You can't even... There's no, the base on this, they all have a base of? A half. What? One. Oh, ten. 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 They all of them have a base of ten. Yeah. See, I keep thinking. Because I'm not writing. Mm -mm, this is the result. The, like here, the 5 is the result. Okay, can we just go over log form again? It's, it's log result. Log base result equals oh, exponent. Okay. So when I just say log 5, 5 was the result, but the base was 10. Because your calculator only does that. Okay, here's my next step. I'm going to... G, C, the F, the X out. 
This is all nothing new. It's just equation solving techniques. I'm going to write this out on the other side too, but if you're sick of writing stuff, that's fine on that side. So that's why I wanted all my X stuff together, because I can pull the X out of it now. Now, can you see how I'm going to get X alone? Divide. Okay. So this is my calculator, what I'm going to put in. And for me, I'm going to be doing brackets like that around like the whole top brackets divided by the entire bottoms. So everything's in brackets. Yeah, and now you're going to have a bunch of brackets because your calculator does the log bracket. So you're going to have, just make sure at the end of this one, Gavin, the end of these, put a, I mean, it's okay. I don't just do a mean. bracket bracket yeah. at the very end. Okay, let's see how everybody's typing is. We got it. What is going to change? Oh, I haven't done it yet. You're faster than me. Did you just, did you do that in your head? Or you yes, did it? I did it all in my head. <laughs> it is four and change. Hey, I'm good in calculating. I don't know. Let's just go numbers in. You got it. Yes. Okay. Is it one or 